So Justin is asking, how can I grow my newsletter subscriber list organically? Which means uh, Justin may not want to run ads and um, you know he's, he's probably going to use uh, stuff like social media and all those things. So um, talking about social media, my friend Bob actually shared a post by Brian Dean from Backlinko. He is the SEO guy. And um, here, okay, there you go. So he actually made a post on LinkedIn, which I found very interesting. And I want to share with you on this, uh, Justin, that, you know, he has built two newsletters with 100K subscribers uh, and more. That's huge, right? So he suggested a simple strategy. Basically, you know, look at his homepage and look at the about page. Now, his argument is basically say the about page is when somebody is interested in you and they want to know more about you. Um, naturally, they will go to your about page to find out more, to try to basically understand you better, right? So what he's suggesting is in, his, in that about page, right, he can then basically put a, a form or basically put a, a form that allows you to sign up for his newsletter. So it's, it makes sense because the audience are prime. They want to know more and naturally there's an avenue for them now to actually sign up to basically get more information. So let's look at his website and see how he actually does it. Now how he actually does it, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to move this. Okay, that happens when you're operating alone and you're trying to do so many things at the same time. Uh, there you go. Let's look at this. All right. So this is basically uh, Brian's. Uh, let me see. Okay. So this is basically Brian's uh, website, Blacklinko, and you notice at the first top, in this case, he actually have a form, and this is the call to action, right? Which is basically uh, get exclusive SEO tips, right? That I only share with my email subscribers. Now a lot of people, this one thing I want to, um, this one I want to touch upon. A lot of people, when they want to in, encourage people to sign up from their newsletter, for example, they just use the generic one, sign up to get updates. You know, I mean, who want to do that? Right? The, your, your email box is already full. So, but you got to give them a strong call to action. You know, give them something that they really want so that they'll sign up. Otherwise, you just say sign up for, for, for updates. Nobody's going to sign up and you've just waited, wasted that space. So, so in Brian's case, it makes sense. So it's going to have that. So this is one area on the main page itself. So as you scroll down, obviously you have, you know, and then this is what he called, this is what I would call a link magnet, right? He could publish, he, he publishes some really mean reports, right? Uh, mean in the sense that, you know, it's like 10,000 words or something, really deep reports. And he, those things can actually be used, for example, as a link magnet. So this is his another way of using link magnet to attract new setters to it, right? Very likely then, he could even, you know, if you have a report for SEO, it could have a group or segment the users based on this. So if, let's say, for example, on website design or maybe even copywriting, he would have another segment. So now, by virtue of using link magnets, he can actually segment the users upfront. And from then on, when he have any offers or when he have any related content to, let's say, SEO, he would be sending to the SEO group. If it's copywriting, he'll be sending to the copywriting group. Okay, so let's look at what he says about his about section. So I'm going to go to his about section. And there you go. So this is about him. And you will see here's another one, right? So he's basically, you know, doing exactly what he's recommending. So if I look at Brian, if I'm new to him, I'm looking at his content and he says, wow, this, uh, you know, there's a big name comments and all those things. It talks about Bell and Crow. I think this is, okay, this is another so-called testimonial also called social proof. And if I like what he says, and if at the bottom, he has all these big names there. So obviously, if I'm learning about SEO, or I'm interested in SEO, I will want to get you know more information from him. So it becomes a natural push. And it makes sense in the sense that uh, you know he actually have this on his uh, you know about page, right? So you have this again, right? So you have multiple uh, so-called points. So this is... Uh, the middle tier, and then you have one at the bottom that you can actually sign up for his newsletter. Hi, and thanks for watching. If you need my help to set up your email marketing engine for your business, just click on the link here and you see a list of services that will help you grow your leads and sales and also increase your profits through emails. I'm looking forward to working with you soon.